Alright, you've seen T140. We are on the last part of our fiber optic lab on doing fiber optic termination. Alright, what we're going to do in this section is we are actually going to take a piece of multimode fiber and we are going to field terminate onto the end an LC connector that I would use in, you know, a switch port or something like that. Uh, so we're going to prepare the fiber. Um, and then using our fusion spicer, that's what we have here, we will fuse that connector onto the end of the fiber. All right, so I'm going to set our fusion spicer aside for right now. So I have a little bit of room to work. And I'm going to get out our, I'm going to set my cable aside. These were the connectors I did as I was uh, getting the machine ready and calibrated for tonight. So I'm going to set those aside and I'm going to this is the other end of the cable that we're going to prepare and terminate. Now I'm going to start off with our connector here. Whenever you get a container of connectors like this, um, I'll open up and let you take a peek. This actually has in six connectors ready to go here uh, with the connector body, the splice sleeve, the um, actually, this is the relief boot, the splice sleeve, and the connector body. And then this part here is the uh, pre-terminated fiber stub that we load into the fusion splicer and fuse onto the cable, the fiber itself, this part right here, that we're going to prepare in a little bit. So the fusion splicer is actually going to take the fiber stub that's here that we'll prepare and fuse it onto the fiber stub that's in this little sled down here. Now, whenever you get a set of connectors like this, they usually come with a set of directions, and it's always a good idea to take a look, make sure your machine is set as it's supposed to, and then they even have uh, kind of a step-by-step -step reminder of all the steps you do to make sure you don't forget anything. I keep a set of those directions in the toolkit as a good reminder so I don't forget any step in the process. All right, to do this, the first thing I typically do is I actually load the connector body into our fusion splicer and then set that aside and then do all the fiber prep and lay it in the fusion splicer then we're ready to fuse. So what we'll need to do, I'm going to open up my box of connectors. I'll need the strain relief boot out. So I'm going to get that out first. That's the black part here with a little rubber boot on the back. I'll need the splice sleeve. The splice sleeve is going to go over top of the fiber stubs that we're fusing. Um, a heat shrink tubing on there is going to heat shrink around the fiber and there's a little metal spline in there, a little metal uh, spindle if you will, that's going to give that uh, splice some rigidity so it does not break. And then here's the actual connector body that'll snap over top when we're done. So I'll get those pieces out and get them handy. I will then need to open up one of these. There's a little protective cover here. Uh, open up one of those and the fiber itself is preloaded into this sled. I'm going to carefully take this sled and load it into my fusion splicer here. So let me see if I can show you a couple things along the way as we do this. All right, I'm going to open up our pack of connectors here. And there is the um, fiber itself with the little metal connector, part of the connector body, loaded into our sled. So I'm going to carefully grab the sled, you notice there's finger holes for it, lift it out, and there's a little stub, you can see it kind of glitter in there. That's the actual fiber that's going to load into the fusion splicer. I need to make sure I don't touch that, I don't bump that, I don't jar that. So I'm going to carefully take this out of the packaging here, get my fingers down in there, there we go. And I'll lift that out. I'm going to set my package of connectors aside for right now. And I'm being very careful that I don't bump that on anything. I'm then going to take this sled, load it into the fusion splicer. There's two little metal pegs there for the sled to go across. And the stub itself needs to lay down in between those two little metal pins. Those are the electrodes that are actually going to um, have an electric arc across them that's going to heat this fiber stub and the other fiber stub we load in. It's going to heat them and then the machine is going to slide those two together, stop the arc, let those two glass stubs fuse, and then those two pieces will act as one. Okay, so let's load this into our fusion splicer. 
slid down over my pins. There we go. Down to the fusion splicer. That little fiber is going to go right down into the middle. I'm going to take this little protective boot and slide it out of the way. This half is loaded in, ready to go. We are going to prepare our fiber stub to lay into this half over here. So I'm going to set my fusion splicer aside. Normally you would not want to do that. Um, but I need the room to show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to very carefully set that to the side, bring my other tools in that I need so that I can prepare my fiber that we're going to put the connector on. All right, so I need my cleaver, and I'm actually going to prepare that. Um, the, the cleaver itself actually has almost looks like a little pizza wheel down in here. I'm going to slide this this way. There's a little metal wheel down in there. You can kind of see it glimmer a little bit. It reminds you of like a pizza cutter wheel. Um, that is in there. And when I load the fiber in, that wheel nicks the fiber. And then the mechanism over here carefully breaks that fiber, pulls it off into the little um, junk area, if you will, the little trash area, if you will. So this cleaver, I need to prep by getting it ready to load the fiber into. So that's ready to go. I'll need my marker to mark out my fiber for how much I'm going to clean off, how much I'm going to strip off. I need my wipes. These are my like low lint, no lint wipes. I need my alcohol for cleaning off the fiber stub. And I need the little sled that I'm going to lay my fiber into. And I also need my buffer strippers and I'll need my Kevlar scissors. So I have all those handy, and I actually have a little bowl over here that I keep my trash in. I have it just off to the side that I'll be putting my trash in. And then I have my connector pieces over here. Okay, so I have all the tools now ready for preparing this fiber to load into the fusion splicer. All right, this is a pair of uh, duplex um, multi-mode fiber. So I'm just gonna strip these apart. I'm then going to take off some of this jacket. I'm going to use my buffer stripper and the largest opening here is enough to cut the jacket. And I'm going to give it a couple inches, strip that off, give it a couple inches, strip that off, and repeat a couple times until I have a good amount of space here to work with. Um, I'm not trying to do anything fancy. I'm just making sure I have plenty of room to work today to show you what we're doing. There we go. I have the jacket off. I'll throw that on my little trash bowl over there. My yellow strands now, those are my Kevlar strands. I'm going to carefully cut those, get those out of the way. And now I have my fiber that I'm going to carefully remove the buffer off of to cleave and load into my fusion splicer. All right, so let me get my fiber here. I'm going to get that scrap out of the way. All right. So I need to clear, clean, or I should say, need to strip off the buffer off the fiber so that I can cleave the fiber loaded into the fusion splicer. But before I do that, I need to do a couple prep things. The first prep thing I need to do is I need to load my strain relief boot onto the fiber. Once I do all this prepping of the fiber, I can't load this on. Um, I learned that the hard way once upon a time. So I need to load that on first, and then I also need to load this little splice sleeve on. The splice sleeve, after I um, cleave the fiber, load it in the fusion splicer, and fuse it onto the connector, this will slide over top of the, uh, the fusion area, the splice area, and there's a heat shrink tubing that will get shrunk around that splice uh, for protection. So I load those two pieces on. The next thing I need to do is I need to mark out my fiber on how much I'm going to cleave off. So I'm going to use my connector package. There's a mark on here to let me know that I need to strip off about 35 millimeters of the buffer. So there we go. I'm going to mark that so I don't know how much I am stripping off of the buffer. Set my marker aside. I'm going to set my connector package aside. I'm now going to get my buffer stripper ready. I have my cleaver ready, I have my wipes ready, and my alcohol ready. I do that because once I prepare this fiber, I'm working one-handed. 
I'm not going to ever let go of this because I don't want to drop it. I don't want to bump it. I don't want to get oil on it. I don't want to get dust on it. So I'm going to be working one-handed so I get as much ready as I can so that I don't have that situation. Okay. Now that I have it marked out, I have all my tools ready. I'm going to carefully, I'm just going to wrap this around my fingers twice. That gives me a lot more area to hold on to this fiber as I'm um, stripping off the buffer. That's what that allows me to do. And I literally have two fingers in here and one on top. So I have a lot of good force on that. And I'm not making a tight bend. That's a nice big loop in there that I'm holding on to. I'm going to take my buffer stripper. I'm using the middle notch now. There's three there. I'm using the middle notch. I'm going to carefully put it over the fiber and I will hold it. And I hate to use the word clamp down, but I'm going to close it down until there's a, there's a stop there. And I'm going to put it around the fiber, but I'm actually going to tilt it so when I pull the fiber, the fiber stays straight. If I did it at a 90 degrees here, when I pull it, the fiber is going to bend down. I don't want that. So when I clamp it around, I'm actually going to tilt a little bit. So when I pull it, the fiber is going to stay straight. So I'll get my little trash bowl handy here. I'm only going to do maybe about a half inch at a time. Flip it around. I'm going to bend my buffer stripper. There we go. I should say tilt it. I shouldn't say bend. Tilt. A half inch. I'm trying to keep that fiber straight as much as possible. Around. Tilt that just a little bit. Keep the fiber straight. We're doing good. And one more time. Out to my mark. There we go. That's a pretty good buffer stripping job today. Sometimes you can feel it scrape on the fiber. I did not feel that this time, so that's a pretty clean one. All right, I'm going to make sure I don't lay this down, that I don't touch it, I don't bend it, I don't bump it. I'm going to get my wipe out here. I'm going to kind of bend it over in half. I'm going to get some of my alcohol on. Give it maybe about two pumps or so. Get that wipe good and wet. I'm now going to kind of make a little, almost like a little hot dog bun with my wipe. I'm going to lay the fiber in. I'm going to pinch the, the fiber nice and hard with the wipe, and then I'm going to pull the fiber out. I'm not going to go this way with the wipe. I'm going to keep the wipe stationary, and I'm going to pull the fiber through. Okay, so lay the fiber down in, give it a good pinch, squeeze, and pull the fiber out. Turn the fiber about 90 degrees, lay it in, pinch. Nice and tight, pull it out, pull the fiber out. And I'll repeat that a couple times. And I'm listening for, hopefully you heard that little squeak. Uh, the, you know, squeaky clean is the, is the piece here, or the key here. All right, that is clean. I have the buffer, buffer stripped off. I have it clean. Um, and there's my fiber. Hopefully you can see it gleaming over top of the black cleaver there. Okay, there's my fiber. I'm now going to carefully lay it into my sled. There's a little groove down the middle. I'm going to lay the buffer into that groove. And then these are magnetic catches. I'm going to flip these over on top. And they magnetically hold that fiber into the sled. All right. Now I'm going to take this sled, lay it into the cleaver on this side. There's an opening here for it. Carefully, I'm going to try to not to bump this on anything, jar this, touch this, anything. I'm trying to keep this clean, unmarked, unnicked, the whole nine yards. All right, into our cleaver, slide it into place, and there is a stop that it won't go any further. So I'm holding that into the cleaver, and I'm going to take the cleaver down and up, just like I'd be doing a stapler, nice and clean, down and up. What happens now is the fiber itself, if you can see that, we'll hold it up here, maybe there we go, I have the black background now. You see that the, the fiber has been cleaved off to the appropriate length for loading into the fusion splicer. Cleaved off means that little pizza wheel nicked the fiber and then the cleaver here grabbed a hold of that and it kind of broke it off so it was a nice clean break. Um, if you've ever worked with glass, if you have a break, the edge of that break is usually nice and clean. That's, a, that's what we're looking for. All right. 
Again, I'm not gonna touch this on anything, set it down, nothing. I'm gonna bring my fusion splicer over here. Again, you would normally not wanna move that around. Uh, I'm doing it because I have limited space below my camera. I'm now going to load this into the fusion splicer just like I did the other half. I should say the, uh, the connector body over there. There we go. So we now have our fiber cleaned and cleaved, laying into the fusion splicer. We had the connector body that we load in loaded in before laying into the fusion splicer. What's gonna happen now is, I'm gonna tell it it's ready. It's gonna to try to align these two fibers. And if everything gets aligned right, those little, looks like little metal pencil points in there, those are the arcs that an electric arc is gonna go across, like it's welding heat up the two fibers, and then the fusion splicer is gonna slide these two fibers together to fuse them. All right, let's hope we have everything prepared right. It's now gonna to try to get everything aligned. And it's, let me show you down here, it's actually trying to do an X, Y axis alignment down here. It's moving the fibers in and moving them left, right, up and down. It is actually aligned, so it's now fusing them. It has actually heated up both uh, that arc went across, heated up the fibers, and it moved them together and touched them and then stopped the arc and let them cool. Now they're fused together as if it's one fiber here. That's what you're seeing down here. It's acting like one fiber. What we'll do now, I'm going to get my splice sleeve ready. I'm gonna slide it up here right now so I don't forget it. I'm gonna hit set so it's gonna open it up those two, the connector body fiber and my fiber have now been fused together. So what I need to do now is carefully unload them, slide the splice sleeve over and move them to the back back here where we have the heating element. There's a heating element back here. So I'm gonna carefully undo the metal catches on the magnetic catches on the fiber we prepared. I'm gonna open the sled over here, there's a little catch I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna lift the fiber straight up. I'm gonna tilt my splice sleeve down on top. And then I'm going to load this into the back of the fusion splicer. Let me slide it this way. Between those two yellow lines, when I slide it down, there's little levers in there that since I have loaded the fiber, it carefully grabs a hold of it. And now the heating unit in there is heating up and it's shrinking, heat shrinking that little plastic tube around the fiber. So that splice I did, it's actually heating a tube around there to protect it. And in that tube, there's also a metal spline, a little metal shaft uh, below it that is going to give that splice some rigidity so it does not break. So it's heating it, it just got done. I'll hit the heat button, it should let it open for me. That has now been shrunk. All right. So now I actually have the splice done and my heat shrink tubing is protecting that splice. The only thing left to do is put the connector together. So let me slide this out of the way. I'll do that. I'm going to now, I shall do it this way so we have the table to see back there. There we go. I'm going to take the connector strain relief boot back here, slide it up over top. This little metal collar has a notch in. Um, this strain relief boot only goes one way over top of that little metal collar. So I'm just gonna rotate it until the connector strain relief boot goes right over top of that notch on the collar, just like so. And now there's the ceramic ferrule. There's like that collar. Here's the strain relief boot. I'm now gonna get my connector body ready I'm gonna pull this little protective rubber sleeve off. I'm pinching the fiber back here so it does not come apart. I'm just gonna pull that off. And then this connector body has a little notch in right there. That's gonna go into that keyed um, slot on the restrain relief. I'll slide that together, it's spring loaded. And once I snap it together, there we go. There is my connector body over top of my fiber. And as I pull this little protective dust cap off, this is the part the manufacturer already prepared for me. That's the ceramic ferrule with the pre-terminated fiber stub in. 
So all we really did was fuse together their pre-terminated fiber stub with our fiber. This would be our connector now we can use to plug into switch port or um, whatever I'm using in my neck, right? Switch port, router port, or, or etc. So there is doing a um, fuse on splice is what that is called, or fuse on connector, this type of fuse on connector here, fuse connect LC. That's how we prepare the fiber, cleave the fiber, and then splice the connector onto the end using our fusion splicer. Now, while we're here real quick, this fusion splicer is also capable of repairing a fiber. If I have a fiber broken, if I actually have, you know, I use the example of, you know, backhoe goes through a um, fiber line somewhere. I could, and we did this in the lab one day as a demo, I could take my fiber. I did a blue end to a yellow end here. I could prepare one end, lay it in the sled, lay it in here, prepare the other end, lay it in the sled, lay it in here, and this will fuse just two fibers back together. So if I had a break, I could actually fuse these two fibers together to repair that. Um, so if you have a backhoe go through a fiber line, you could actually use a unit like this guy to fuse those broken fibers back together. Um, that's what this is for. This can fuse the fibers together as well as if you buy the connectors, fuse on a fiber connector. So there's fiber optic termination with our fusion spicer.